Hi guys, kumusta and welcome to Bisaya 24-7, your official Cebuano English tutorial on the web. In this session, I'll be sharing to you this beautiful scriptural passages taken from the book of Ecclesiastes. I will share to you first the Visayan version and I will translate its meaning and will share to you as well the King James Version in English. This will not be a literal word-for-word -word translation but the context from both the Visayan Bible and the English KJV Bible will be preserved to show parallelism in the essence of these biblical words, even if they are conveyed in two different languages. While many of us are struggling to get back to normal, I hope that we never lose sight of the beauty of life and living no matter what our current challenges are. Let this scriptural readings be a lovely reminder that there is a time and a season for everything, that we should not despair, that we should not lose faith in our God who loved us first, and that we should trust the Almighty God who knows the timing of everything in our lives. I hope this video will find you hopeful, inspired, and healthy. Ang tanan nga mahitabo dinhi sa kalibutan, mahitabo sa panahon nga gitagal sa Dios. Tanan is all. Mahitabo is something that is still going to happen. Dinhi here, kalibutan, our world. Mahitabo sa panahon. Panahon is time. Gitagal, um, it's what is set aside. A time that is set aside sa Dios. Dios is God. So this reading, this verse translates to everything that is going to happen here on earth will happen at a time that the Lord our God has set aside. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Nagtagal siyag panahon sa pagkatao, ug panahon sa pagkamatay, may panahon sa pagtanong, ug panahon sa pag-ibot. Nagtagal siya. Siya refers to God. So he has set aside panahon, a time, sa pagkatao, a time to be born, 
ug panahon sa pagkamatay, a time to die. May panahon, there is a time sa pagtanong. There is a time to plant, ug and panahon sa pag-ibot. Ibot is to pluck out or to pull from the ground. So this is a time to pluck out from the ground. So the Lord our God has set aside a time to be born and a time to die. There is a time to plant and there is a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. May panahon sa pagpatay o panahon sa pag-ayo. May panahon sa pagguba o panahon usab sa pagtukod. Panahon sa pagpatay is a time to kill. Panahon sa pag-ayo it's a time to heal. Panahon sa pagguba, guba is to destroy. O panahon usab sa pagtukod. Tukud is to lay down the foundation, so this is a time to build. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Nagtagal siyag panahon sa kagulanan o panahon sa kadipay. May panahon sa pagbangutan o panahon sa pagsayaw. Nagtagal has set aside. Siya refers to God, which is a pronoun which, which means He. Panahon sa kagulanan. The root word is guol, which means sad. So, he has set aside a time for sadness. Ung panahon sa kalipay. The root word is lipay, which is happy. So, panahon sa kalipay is a time for happiness, a time for joy. My, my means there is, and the alternate word is Adunai. So Aduna, Adunai, or my means there is. So there is panahon sa pagbangutan. Bangutan is to mourn. So, panahon sa pagbangutan is a time for mourning. O panahon sa pagsayaw. Sayaw is dance. So, panahon sa pagsayaw is a time to dance. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. May panahon sa paglabay o mga bato o panahon sa pagtigom ni ini. May panahon sa pagkakos O panahon o sab sa paglikay sa pagakos. May panahon, there is a time. 
paglabay. Labay is to throw away or to cast away. Paglabay o mga bato. Mga bato means stones. So there is a time to throw away stones. Ug panahon sa pagtigom. Tigom is to collect or to gather. So panahon sa pagtigom. A time to gather. Niini. Niini is just a pronoun that refers to what has been mentioned earlier which is mga bato so it just means it's a time to gather stones may panahon there is a time sa paggakos gakos is embrace so there is a time to embrace Ug panahon usab usab means also. So and there is also a time sa paglikay. Likay is to refrain sa pagakos. And there is also a time to refrain from embracing. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. Nagtagal siyag panahon sa pagpangita o panahon sa pagwala. May panahon sa pagtigom o panahon sa pag-usik-usik. Nagtagal siyag panahon he has set aside. Panahon sa pagpangita. Pangita is to seek or to find. So he has set aside a time to find og and panahon sa pagwala. Wala is to lose something. A time to lose. May panahon sa pagtigom. So there is a time to tigom is to save or to collect. So there is a time to save and panahon sa pag-usik-usik. Pag-usik-usik is the act of wasting or squandering. So he has set aside a time to find and a time to lose. There is a time to save and a time to waste. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. May panahon sa paggisi o panahon sa pagtapak. May panahon sa paghilom o panahon sa pagsulti. There is a time sa paggisi. Gisi is to, to tear, tear down. O panahon sa pagtapak. Tapak is the act of uh, putting a patch or patching up um, if you uh, represent a piece of torn clothing may panahon sa paghilom hilom means uh, quiet or silence
island. So there is a time to be quiet or a time to be silent. Ung panahon sa pagsulti. Sulti is to speak. So there is a time to speak. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. Nagtagal siya ang panahon sa gugma o panahon sa kasilag. May panahon sa gubat o panahon sa kalinaw. So he has set aside a time sa gugma. Gugma is love. O panahon sa kasilag. Kasilag is hatred. So he has set aside a time for love and a time for hatred. May panahon sa gubat. Gubat is war. So there is a time for war. Ug panahon sa kalinaw. And a time for peace. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Unsa may makuha sa tao sa tanan niya nga kahago? Unsa what makuha sa tao? Tao is man, makuha is something that one can get or achieve. Sa tanan, for all, niya. Niyang, which means niyanga, which also refers to man. Kahago, for all his labor. So, hago is the labor. So, this translates to what will a man get or benefit for all that he has labored. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? Nasayod ako sa kapalaran nga gitagana kanato sa Dios. Nasayod means you have the knowledge. So when you say nasayod ako, that means I know. Sa kapalaran, kapalaran is the faith or the destiny or the end game. Nga gitagana. Gitagana is something that has been assigned. Kanato. So to us. Something that has been assigned to us. Sadios. Assigned to us by God. So I know the faith that the Lord has assigned to us. I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it.
Nagtagal siyag hustong panahon alang sa tanang butang. Giyatagan kita niya kaikag pagsusi sa mahitabo sa umaabot ng panahon. Apan wala kita niya hatagig katagbawan sa pagsabot sa hingpit sa iyang kibuha. Nagtagal siyag husto. Husto is exact. So he has set aside an exact time. Alam for satanang butang everything. Gihatagan kita. We are given niyag kaikag. Kaikag is interest. So niya here refers to God. So we are given by God or we are given by Him. Kaikag, the interest. Pagsusi, susi is to find out or to understand or to investigate or to scrutinize. So He has given us the interest to find out sa mahitabo mahitabo is what is going to happen sa umaabot umaabot is something that is still bound to come nga panahon so a time that is still bound to come upon but wala kita niya hatagig. So, hatagi is to be given, but when you say, wala hatagi, then we are not given. Wala kita niya hatagi. So, kita is us, we, niya is a pronoun for to represent um, the person of God. So he hasn't given us. What has he not given us? Katagbawan. What is katagbawan? Katagbawan is the satisfaction. Sa pagsabot. Sabot is to understand. Sa hingpit. Hingpit is complete or full. Sa iyang. So, iya is again referring to God. Iyang gibuhat. Gibuhat means the works that He has done. So, He hasn't given us the satisfaction to understand completely what He has done. Again, this whole text translates to He has given or He has set aside an exact time for everything. He has given us the interest to find out what will happen in the future. But we are not given the satisfaction to understand completely what He has done. He has made everything beautiful in His time. Also, He has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. A season for everything. Adunay panahon ang tanang butang. So this ends the first part of this um, reading 
from the book of Ecclesiastes and a translation in Cebuano and Visayan languages. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was worth your time. Daghang salamat and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Maayong adlaw kanatong tanan.